That's better. Hi everyone, Sam Zitten with JFCU of St. Louis. Sometimes it's important to have the right clothes for the right job. You'll hear a lot of advice going around these days for a lot of people working at home, not leaving the house too much, that even if you're just working around the house, you should probably get dressed and make yourself a little more polished and you'll be more productive. There's actually scientific information and data to back this up. Uh, and it's also discussed in this week's Torah portion. So there's a concept in psychology they've discovered called enclothed cognition. The idea is that the clothes you wear actually affect the way your brain works. They've done an experiment where they took a group of people, gave them a baseline cognitive assessment, and then put a white scientist lab coat on them, gave them the same kind of a test, and their scores went up pretty universally. They took another group of people, gave them the same kind of test, then put a white artist's smock on them, like a painter's smock to keep paint off them, and their scores fairly universally went down, interestingly. What was really fascinating was they gave both groups of people the same coat. The only thing that changed was whether they told them it was a scientist's clothing or an artist's clothing. Then what happened is that the people's preconceived notions and concepts about what a scientist or an artist's clothing would mean for their brain actually had an impact. The clothing you wear actually impacts you on a fundamental level, psychologically. There's an idea in this week's Parsha, Parsha Toldos, with a famous story of Yaakov going to his father Yitzchak to get the blessing um, so that it doesn't go to his brother Esau. And his mother Rivka helps him perpetuate this ruse where she takes the sheepskin and puts it on his arms so he'll seem hairier to his father. One of the things it says in there is fascinating. It says that Rivka, his mother, takes the clothing of his brother Esau and puts it on him. And it's described in a medrash uh, as to what that clothing looks like. It's kind of like camouflage, maybe. It helped him be better at hunting. Um, but it begs the question, Yitzchak, Yaakov's father, was blind. So why would Rivka bother to take the clothing of Yaakov's brother and put it on him for a performance, so to speak, for Yitzchak, who was blind? The Dasa Kanan gives us an answer. It was the idea that Yaakov, in order to be able to fool his father, needed to be in character and not only seem like Esau from the way he was speaking, but to actually act like Esau. He needed to wear that clothing to put himself in the frame of mind that would be necessary for him to be able to pull the whole thing off. The clothing you wear actually affects you. We talk about this in JSU clubs with kids all the time, and we tell them to try a little experiment. When you've got a real important test the next day in school, dress up a little nicer. Maybe throw on a dress or throw on a shirt and tie and see how you do on that test. Pretty much across the board when we hear back from those students, we find that they've actually done better than they anticipated on that test. It's not so important what you wear, but what it means to you. Make sure you're dressing in a way that reflects who you want to be, not just who you think you are. Dress for the growth that you want to have and the next step that you want to take. Thank you all so much. Have an amazing week. This has been your moment of inspiration from JSU. Take care.